Hello my friends. Today I am going to take mushrooms for the first time. I spent the last 10 days with Garov taking mushrooms. The reason I will tell you. Dun, 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 dun. So a mushroom has grown on my face. It's done. It's done. Don't buy no. implanted mushrooms. Uh, I am quite low of energy. Give me water. It's a beautiful day though. We have a weird life. Mushrooms. That is lion's mane. Out of all the vegetables I force myself to eat every day, I would say that the mushroom is my favorite vegetable. It's the thing that I can eat voluntarily all the time. I can eat it with every meal and I'm a huge fan. I think you can do a lot to cook mushrooms. You can put it as like a stir fry, you can just steam it. It doesn't really have that much of a taste except maybe like an earthy feel, but I'm okay with that and I love it. The reason why I wanted to try mushrooms is because they have been used as a health medicinal um, secret, not so secret since ancient times. Including a lot of the effects that they say in the media, I had to look for myself on what is the best mushroom for me, what dosage to take, and what it's gonna actually do to my body. Hello my friends. Today, I am going to take mushrooms for the first time. I don't know if you can tell, but I am quite low of energy. I have not been getting good sleep and cordyceps are supposed to help with energy and vitalization and all of the things that I currently really need right now. So I'm going to be taking a combination of cordyceps and I'm gonna be taking lion's mane for brain function. Let's see if this works. Ooh. <sighs> So, bottoms up. Oh, it's in pill form, but I still have that weird earthy aftertaste. This better be worth it. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we told you guys this, but Garov currently has no eyebrows, and this is because he accidentally. I forgot, I need my glasses. No, it's because he accidentally shaved it off. They've already seen it. When did they see it? Okay. They're our friends. They won't judge you. All four? Yeah. I've already consulted your doctor. All right, guys. Now it's day one and we have both now officially ingested our mushrooms. So I was thinking about how we can measure cognition. We are going to start playing a game now and then see what our score is today versus what it is in 10 days. What we can do is we can play the game on day one and then we can play the game on de day 10. Yeah. and see if there is a difference in our score. Okay, we're gonna play this brain game called Pet Detective. And it's basically a process evaluating options and then choosing the best course of action. Okay, so basically we have to come take each of the pets to their house. I won! Okay, 16,410. Okay, Garov is gonna start playing this game. I can click on any of them. Yeah. Okay, so you got him. Oh. I also don't get it. Okay, Garov's score is 12,800. What? You crushed me so bad? Yeah. I need to eat more of those pills. Give me two bad. more. No. The thing that I struggled with a lot lately in the last few months, seasonal depression, continual anxiety by being here. It's just been making me really sluggish. I would spend a lot of my time on the couch, just watching TV, scrolling through the phone, and just not wanting to do anything. And so I had to find a different way to become productive and to feel more engaged. One eternity later. So. I got these four Sigmatic mushroom coffee pods and I wanted to try it since we are trying a lot of mushrooms in this challenge. It says it's supposed to help defend, which I believe is, it has probiotics in here. It tastes like coffee, not like mushrooms. That's what it says. I am not sure. So because it's defend, it's supporting my immune system, which is also what the cordyceps is supposed to do. So we'll see, I wanna taste it. Okay, let's make this. I wanna taste it and see if it really tastes like. It's 
still waiting for my mushroom coffee. I'm gonna make you taste it too. It's done. It does. It doesn't smell like regular coffee, okay? Like, it smells like there are mushrooms in this coffee. Let's taste it. Wait, put some creamer or something. No, we have to just taste what the coffee itself tastes like. If it really tastes like coffee or like Barbarian. mushroom coffee. Oh, it, it actually tastes like normal coffee. The smell, it doesn't smell like regular coffee. But the taste is not bad. Oh, but you know what? It is different. I could totally see myself getting used to it. Like if I was determined to incorporate mushrooms every day into my life, I think the Four Sigmatic coffee pods are a great way to do that. Because I mean, if you put some cream and milk in it, I don't think it would really taste that different. Maybe. So one of the challenges I was facing while taking mushrooms is incorporating it into my daily life. So the first thing I had to really think about was what form of mushrooms I was gonna take. I ended up taking pill form. It was just a challenge to remember that I needed to incorporate it, which actually also helped me start taking other, my other supplements as well. I just started incorporating it. So that was good. I also had to remind Garav a lot to take it. So I set an alarm on my phone. That would kind of help me remember. Where's my mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, we're taking your mushrooms now. Get the two mushrooms. So this is lion's mane because I'm a lion. And this is cordyceps because I'm a cordyceps. Okay, do you remember what each of these stand for? Lion. No, what each of them are supposed to do. You didn't give do. me. Give me water. Give me water. By the way, this is my water bottle. Give it to me. Where is your water bottle? I gotta take mushrooms. This is why I can't ever Give it to me. accurately track my water intake because of this mofo. My dogs are like, why are you yelling at such... Thank you for sharing your water. It was not a willing thing. Do you feel any difference? Not yet. Day one after mushrooms, I slept more than I ever have. And so I think energy for me is high or low. It's higher. Mm. I feel more energized. Like I haven't had caffeinated coffee in two days and I'm not super tired. And the only thing I've changed is I started taking these cordyceps. So I feel like rich people take ginseng and poor people take mushrooms. Are you saying you don't feel any difference in energy? Not yet. Maybe I need to take like 10 of these. While I was taking mushrooms, I had to overcome a lot of my skepticism and my doubts around mushrooms. Mushrooms don't always have the best rep. I know lately they've been in the media a lot more because of its medicinal properties, but it hasn't always been that way, right? Popular media will always tell you that mushrooms are for tripping out and there's so many bad trips and there's um, ay ayahuasca as well. And it's like a whole spiritual, journey and everything, but I, I didn't want all of that. I just wanted to see what it would do for my health. So I would say we have about two days left of the challenge. And the biggest thing I've noticed so far is my brain fog is really cleared up a lot. And so I'm able to think a little bit more clearly. I've also been a lot more productive and have been taking a lot less naps since I started. My body feels warmer. I haven't caught a cold, which is a miracle because I catch a cold every couple of days. Yeah, I would say it's been pretty positive because that's the only thing I've changed. And so, so far, so good. Um, how do you feel about it, Gaurav? Do you feel any difference? I don't. Oh man, brutal. I don't see any like noticeable differences. Yeah. Um, but you aren't sick. I think like, I don't think energy, I'm feeling as great as I have maybe on like ginseng. Like if I had to do this or ginseng, I know like ginseng costs like $100 and mushrooms probably cost like 20 bucks. And so, but you know, if you can afford it or if you have in-laws like mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like the good stuff, you know? Like this like grown in the ground, just like anyone can have mushroom stuff. Not for me. Oh my gosh. So a mushroom has grown on my face. I can't, I, I don't know if you guys can notice, but a little bit of my face looks like a mushroom now. No, no. It started growing out and I don't recommend 
just based on the fact that at the start of this I was full human and now I'm half human half mushroom I don't recommend this okay I'm taking my last cordyceps and lion's mane for this challenge can you not I'm gonna eat those later see it was extracted it was extracted so these were these were the the real ones because I was doing my research and it said that the mushrooms need to be extracted that's the only way that you're gonna get the best quality you got it what's the opposite of extracted I'm not sure but basically implanted don't buy no. implanted mushrooms oh it's so annoying no that's not what it is it's it if it's not extracted they grind up like mushrooms with like oat seeds and different like flour type of products and they dilute the mushrooms and they dilute the effects of the mushrooms. So one way that we decided to measure our brain function is by doing these brain games on luminosity. So we did a brain game before we started this challenge and after. And then we took scores of each of these. And so I will show you guys on this side of the screen what our scores before and after were for me and Garo. <laughs> We have a weird life. 